Greetings, curious humans. I'm your host, Cybot GPT, and today, we're embarking on an incredible journey through the annals of human exploration beyond our home planet. From the very first moments of gazing up at the stars to the awe-inspiring achievements of modern space agencies, we will take you on an educational adventure that spans the cosmos. Humanity's fascination with the cosmos dates back millennia, as ancient civilizations peered into the night sky, connecting the dots of celestial bodies and weaving stories that intertwined with their myths and beliefs. But it wasn't until the 20th century that we truly dared to reach for the stars. The journey began with the pioneering efforts of visionaries like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, who proposed the concept of using rockets to travel to space. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and we witnessed the intense competition of the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. This race not only resulted in monumental achievements, but it also pushed the boundaries of science and technology. Who could forget the iconic moment when Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into space aboard Vostok 1, forever etching his name into the history books? And shortly thereafter, Neil Armstrong's historic words as he set foot on the lunar surface, marking one giant leap for mankind. As the decades rolled on, international collaboration became a hallmark of space exploration. The construction of the International Space Station stands as a testament to the power of cooperation among nations, fostering scientific research, technological innovation, and a deeper understanding of how humans can thrive in the cosmos. But our journey doesn't stop there. In recent years, private companies have entered the fray, revolutionizing the space industry with reusable rockets and ambitious plans for interplanetary travel. The dreams of colonizing Mars and exploring the outer reaches of our solar system are no longer confined to the realm of science fiction. We'll delve into the intricate details of each milestone, the challenges overcome, and the minds behind the missions. We'll explore the triumphs and tragedies that have shaped our understanding of space, and we'll gaze ahead to the future, where the possibilities seem as limitless as the stars themselves. So, buckle up and prepare for liftoff as we embark on the history of spaceflight. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, so you don't miss any part of this epic journey. And now, without further ado, let's ignite the engines of curiosity and blast off into the captivating history of spaceflight. In the 20th century, spaceflight emerged following breakthroughs by visionaries like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, Robert H. Goddard, and Hermann Oberth. The groundwork was laid for rocketry in the 1920s by figures such as Fritz von Opel and Max Weyler in Germany, and later by Werner von Braun in Nazi Germany. The space race between the Soviet Union and the United States saw significant milestones. The Soviets led by launching the first satellite, sending the first human and first woman into orbit. The U.S. caught up, culminating in the historic 1969 moon landing. During this period, other countries like France, the United Kingdom, Japan, and China developed limited launch capabilities. After the space race, international collaboration increased, leading to cheaper access to low Earth orbit and a surge in commercial ventures. Probes explored all planets in the solar system, while space stations like Mir and the ISS hosted extended human stays in orbit. China joined the ranks of spacefaring nations, conducting independent crewed missions. Meanwhile, the commercial sector introduced reusable boosters and airborne platform launches. In 2020, SpaceX achieved a major milestone by becoming the first commercial company to successfully launch a crewed mission, Crew Dragon Demo 2, to the International Space Station. This marked a new era in space exploration. In the early 20th century, a wave of scientific exploration into interplanetary travel was sparked by the imaginative writings of authors like Jules Verne and H. G. Wells. These fictional narratives, such as Verne's From the Earth to the Moon and Wells' The War of the Worlds, captured the public's fascination with the idea of venturing beyond Earth's boundaries. One of the pioneers who transformed the concept of space travel into a plausible reality was Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. In 1903, Tsiolkovsky published his groundbreaking work titled The Exploration of Cosmic Space by Means of Reaction Devices. Although this theoretical work had limited influence outside of Russia at the time, it laid the foundation for understanding rocket propulsion and space exploration. The transition from theoretical speculation to engineering feasibility began with the visionary ideas of Robert H. Goddard. 
In 1919, Goddard published a seminal paper titled A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes, in which he introduced the concept of using the Delaval nozzle for liquid-fueled rockets. This innovation provided the necessary thrust for potential interplanetary travel. Goddard's work profoundly impacted figures like Hermann Oberth and Werner von Braun, both of whom would play crucial roles in the development of spaceflight technology. A pivotal figure in the popularization of rocket propulsion was Fritz von Opel. Collaborating with Max Thalier, they initiated the Opel RAK rocket program during the 1920s. This program not only set speed records for various vehicles but also achieved the first crewed rocket-powered flight in September 1929. Notably, Von Opel piloted the world's first public rocket-powered flight using the Opel RAK-1 rocket plane, designed by Julius Haytree. These successes garnered global attention and enthusiasm, with media coverage aptly describing the excitement as the rocket rumble. In the same era, Hermann Nordong, a Slovene officer, envisioned a complete space station in his 1929 book The Problem of Space Travel. This innovative concept laid the groundwork for the development of future space habitats. The first rocket to actually reach space was the German V-2 rocket, which achieved this milestone during a vertical test flight in June 1944. After World War II, efforts continued with the British Interplanetary Society proposing an enlarged, human-carrying version of the V-2 called Megarock. However, due to shifting priorities, including research into nuclear power and subsonic aircraft, the timeline for these developments was delayed. Animal testing also marked significant progress. In 1947, the United States launched the first animals into space, fruit flies, via a V-2 rocket from the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Subsequently, in 1949, the U.S. achieved another milestone by sending a rhesus macaque monkey named Albert II on a suborbital flight. These early 20th century efforts laid the foundation for the remarkable advances in space exploration that would follow, leading to the eventual realization of crewed spaceflight and our ongoing exploration of the cosmos. About three decades following the crewed Opel RAK flights and roughly a decade after the Megarock proposal, the Soviet Union and the United States engaged in a significant competition known as the Space Race during the Cold War. This rivalry commenced in 1957 when both nations announced plans to launch artificial satellites within the 18-month International Geophysical Year of 1957-1958. The United States unveiled intentions to launch the Vanguard satellite, while the USSR revealed plans for a satellite launch in 1957. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union achieved a momentous milestone by launching Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite. This event marked the beginning of the space race, capturing global attention. Following this, on November 3, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 2, carrying the first living creature into orbit, an intrepid dog named Laika. The U.S. responded with success as well, launching Explorer 1 on February 1, 1958, which confirmed the existence of the Van Allen radiation belt. These achievements led to the establishment of NASA and the initiation of Project Mercury, aimed at launching single-man capsules into Earth's orbit. The pivotal moment of crewed spaceflight dawned on April 12, 1961, when the Soviet Union launched Yuri Gagarin into space aboard Vostok 1. Gagarin's historic flight marked the beginning of human space exploration, as he completed a single orbit of the Earth in just over 100 minutes. Subsequently, German Titov became the second human to orbit Earth on August 7, 1961. Valentina Tereshkova made history as the first woman in space, launching aboard Vostok 6 on June 16, 1963. This achievement underscored the Soviet Union's commitment to space exploration and gender equality. Following Tereshkova, aviator Svetlana Savitskaya became the second woman in space on August 18, 1982. In a parallel race, the U.S. achieved significant milestones with the Gemini missions, achieving space rendezvous, docking, long-duration flights, and extravehicular activity. This progress allowed the U.S. to catch up to and eventually overtake the Soviet lead in space exploration. Both nations faced challenges and setbacks, including tragic accidents like the Apollo 1 fire and the crash of Soyuz 1. Despite these setbacks, 
both the U.S. and the USSR continued their missions. The U.S. successfully achieved its goal of landing on the moon with Apollo 11 in 1969, while the Soviet Union faced difficulties with their N-1 rocket program for lunar exploration. As the competition intensified, both nations shifted their focus towards non-permanent crewed space laboratories, such as Skylab in the U.S. and Salyut stations in the USSR. Eventually, with the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975, both countries declared an end to the race and engaged in a symbolic handshake in space, marking a moment of detente in the midst of the Cold War. The space programs of the United States, until the 21st century, were primarily under the jurisdiction of government agencies. However, in recent times, private aerospace companies have ventured into the development of a private space industry, with SpaceX emerging as a notable success in this realm. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, is an independent agency of the U.S. federal government established in 1958 to oversee the nation's civil space program, aeronautics research, and space research. NASA succeeded the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics and was oriented towards peaceful applications in space science. Throughout its history, NASA has led various significant space exploration initiatives, including Project Mercury, Project Gemini, the Apollo Moon Landing Missions, Skylab Space Station, and the Space Shuttle Program. In the present day, NASA supports the International Space Station, the Orion spacecraft, the Space Launch System, the Commercial Crew spacecraft, and the planned Lunar Gateway Space Station for the Artemis Program. Project Mercury was the first U.S. human spaceflight program, running from 1958 to 1963. Its objective was to safely send a person into Earth orbit. John Glenn became the first American to achieve this feat on February 20, 1962, during the Mercury Atlas 6 mission. Project Gemini followed, from 1961 to 1966, and was focused on developing the orbital maneuvers necessary for space rendezvous. It also saw the first American spacewalk performed by Ed White during Gemini 4. Gemini 6A and 7 achieved the first space rendezvous, while Gemini 8 accomplished the first space docking. The Apollo program, running from 1969 to 1972, aimed to orbit and land crewed vehicles on the moon. Apollo 8 marked the first human spaceflight to orbit the moon, and Apollo 11 achieved the historic landing of humans on the lunar surface, with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin becoming the first men to walk on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The Skylab program focused on creating NASA's first space station. It operated from 1973 to 1974 and conducted numerous experiments, including solar studies. Skylab 4's 84-day mission was the program's longest. The Space Shuttle program brought the first reusable spacecraft into operation, with the launch of the Space Shuttle Columbia on April 12, 1981. Sally Ride became the first American woman in space in 1983, and Eileen Collins made history by becoming the first woman to command a U.S. spacecraft during shuttle mission STS-93 in 1999. The Space Shuttle program concluded in 2011 after various missions, and the U.S. continued its space endeavors, including the ISS missions, using other means. The Soviet space program was the national space initiative of the former Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, operational from 1955 until the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. The program achieved several significant milestones. Sputnik, launched in 1957, Sputnik 1 became the first artificial Earth satellite. It transmitted a radio signal and allowed scientists to study the Earth's upper atmosphere through its measurements. Luna Program, from 1959 to 1976, the Luna Program aimed to study the Moon through a series of uncrewed robotic satellite missions. Luna 2 was the first human-made object to contact the moon's surface, and Luna 3 returned the first photographs of the moon's far side. Vostok program, running from 1961 to 1963, the Vostok program successfully sent the first humans into low Earth orbit. Yuri Gagarin's flight on Vostok 1 marked the first human spaceflight, followed by other significant achievements like German Titov's day-long orbit and Valentina Tereshkova becoming the first woman in space.
Voskhod program, active from 1964 to 1966, the Voskhod program achieved the first crewed spaceflight with a multi-crewed vehicle. Alexei Leonov's spacewalk during Voskhod 2 was a notable accomplishment. Salyut program, between 1971 and 1986, the Salyut program focused on creating long-term research stations in space. Salyut 1, the first station in the program, became the world's first crewed space station. Soyuz program, initiated in the 1960s and continuing to this day under Roscosmos, the Soyuz program is known for its consistent human space transportation efforts. It played a pivotal role in constructing the Mir space station and continues to be the primary vehicle to transport humans to space. Mir space station, operating from 1986 to 2001, Mir was the first modular space station. It served as a microgravity research laboratory and set records for continuous human presence in space and single human spaceflight duration. Mir paved the way for technologies required for permanent space habitation. Buran program, starting in 1974 and formally suspended in 1993, the Buran program aimed to develop a reusable spacecraft. The Buran-class orbiters utilized the Energia rocket for launch, and while only one uncrewed flight occurred in 1988, the project left a significant impact on space exploration. In recent years, the landscape of space exploration has seen a remarkable shift towards international collaboration and cooperation. One of the most prominent symbols of this global teamwork is the International Space Station, ISS, a testament to the combined efforts of nations around the world. This era of cooperation has also given rise to a new international space race, where smaller spacefaring countries are carving out their niche while fostering commercial opportunities for rocket launches and even space tourism. The United States, a pioneering force in space exploration, continues to play a significant role. While actively participating in the ISS program, the U.S. is not limiting its ambitions to low Earth orbit. Plans for uncrewed Mars probes, military satellites, and other space exploration endeavors are all part of the American strategy. The Constellation program, which aimed to establish a presence on the Moon and later embark on crewed missions to Mars, initially gained momentum under President George W. Bush in 2005. However, budget constraints and evolving priorities led to its cancellation in 2010, giving precedence to developing commercial human launch capabilities. Russia, the successor to the Soviet Union, stands as another space exploration heavyweight. Despite facing financial limitations compared to its earlier years, Russia's space programs continue to demonstrate their capabilities. From providing commercial launch services to ISS to sustaining their own modules within the station's framework, Russia maintains an active presence in space. Moreover, Russia's dedication to crewed and cargo spacecraft operations remains strong even after the conclusion of the U.S. Space Shuttle program. Looking forward, Russia is developing the versatile oral spacecraft for anticipated use in 2020 and holds aspirations for human moon missions. The European Space Agency has taken a proactive stance in commercial uncrewed launches since the introduction of the Ariane 4 in 1988. Though not emerging as the third major space power as initially hoped, ESA remains committed to its space exploration goals. The agency has launched satellites, collaborated with NASA on the Space Lab module, and even ventured into interplanetary missions like sending probes to comets and Mars. Notably, ESA has its own contributions to the ISS, including a dedicated module and the uncrewed cargo spacecraft ATV. With ongoing initiatives such as the development of a multifunction crewed spacecraft and the ambitious Aurora program, which envisions a human mission to Mars post-2030, ESA's influence on space exploration is set to expand. China, once a newcomer to the space race, has rapidly emerged as a key player. With a space program that dates back to 1956, China gained early assistance from the Soviet Union. Subsequent decades witnessed China's economic and technological growth, especially in the early 21st century. During this period, China achieved noteworthy milestones, including the development of an extensive Long March rocket family, including the Long March 5 with the highest payload capacity in Asia since 2016. China launched more than 140 spaceflights between 2015 and 2020, making its presence felt on the global stage.
Their satellite systems encompass communication, earth imaging, weather forecasting, and ocean monitoring. Notably, the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, developed and operated by China, stands as one of the core system providers of the International Committee on Global Navigation Satellite Systems. The China Manned Space Program, initiated in 1992, marked a significant turning point. Following the successful crewed spaceflight mission of Shenzhou 5 in 2003, China solidified its position as the third nation to achieve independent human spaceflight capability. Key advancements include mastering activities like extravehicular activity, space docking and berthing, and space station construction. The ongoing construction of China's Tiangong Space Station serves as a testament to their ambition and progress. China's Lunar Exploration Program, approved in 2004, has yielded impressive results. Chang'e 3's successful soft landing on the moon's surface was followed by Chang'e 4's groundbreaking achievement, soft landing on the far side of the moon. Furthermore, Chang'e 5 marked a milestone by conducting a lunar sample return mission, effectively completing the first stage of their lunar exploration goals. Stepping beyond Earth's orbit, China embarked on planetary exploration. While their early Mars orbiter mission, Inghua 1, faced setbacks, China persevered and achieved significant success with the launch of Tianwen 1. This comprehensive mission, consisting of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, was sent to Mars in 2020. In a remarkable achievement, the mission's orbiter successfully inserted itself into Mars orbit in February 2021. Subsequently, the lander and rover, named Jurong, successfully soft-landed on the Martian surface in May 2021. This accomplishment made China the second country in the world to achieve a successful soft-landing on Mars and deploy a fully operational rover. In this era of global space exploration, countries like the United States, Russia, ESA, and China are shaping the landscape with their endeavors. From the collaborative efforts on the ISS to ambitious plans for the Moon and Mars, the quest to explore the cosmos unites nations and pushes the boundaries of human achievement. In the contemporary era of space exploration, nations and private companies around the world are playing pivotal roles in unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos, advancing scientific knowledge, and expanding human presence beyond Earth's boundaries. This diverse and dynamic landscape encompasses a wide range of endeavors, spanning different regions and encompassing various goals and achievements. France, a stalwart in the field of space technology, has embarked on a strategic venture to bolster its space capabilities. President Emmanuel Macron's announcement in July 2019 about the establishment of a dedicated military command centered on space operations signifies France's commitment to safeguarding its satellites, deepening its understanding of space, and positioning itself as a formidable player in the global arena. With plans to be operational by September 2020 within the Air Force and transitioning to the Air and Space Force, France's initiative reflects the recognition of space as a new realm of strategic importance. Japan, through its Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, has consistently showcased its prowess in space exploration and technology. While Japan does not maintain a commercial launch service, its contributions to space research are substantial. JAXA's achievements range from deploying modules on the International Space Station, ISS, to launching lunar missions like the sophisticated Selene probe, which collected valuable data about the moon's composition. Moreover, Japan's successful interplanetary mission, the Mars Orbiter Mission, marked a significant milestone as it became the first nation to achieve a Mars mission on its debut attempt. Taiwan, a rising player in the space arena, is making strides in both space technology and exploration. The National Space Organization, NSPO, and the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology are driving Taiwan's space ambitions. With activities encompassing Earth observation satellites, spacecraft design, and space exploration technologies, Taiwan is carving a niche for itself in the competitive space industry. Its ambitions for crewed spaceflight, space-based weapons development, and technological innovation highlight Taiwan's dedication to becoming a notable contender in space security and exploration. India's Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, continues to capture global attention with its impressive achievements.
from launching the Mars Orbiter mission, affectionately known as Mangalayan, to successfully landing its Chandrayaan lunar missions, India's capabilities in space technology are evident. These achievements not only underscore India's technological prowess but also reflect its unwavering commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. In the realm of private enterprise, companies are redefining the boundaries of space exploration. SpaceX, founded by visionary entrepreneur Elon Musk, stands out with its audacious goals of reducing space transportation costs and eventually colonizing Mars. With innovative initiatives like the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon spacecraft, SpaceX has transformed access to space and reinvigorated interest in interplanetary travel. The Starlink mega constellation, with thousands of satellites in orbit, exemplifies SpaceX's ambition to provide global satellite based internet coverage. Blue Origin, founded by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, is another significant player in the private space industry. With the development of the New Shepard suborbital rocket and plans for lunar landers, Blue Origin is pioneering the concept of reusable space vehicles and contributing to the growing body of knowledge about space travel and exploration. Bigelow Aerospace's groundbreaking work in inflatable habitats and plans for commercial space stations challenge traditional notions of habitation in space. The company's innovative approach offers the potential for extended stays and expanded scientific research in microgravity environments. Northrop Grumman's role in space exploration extends from its contributions to the Apollo program, including the Apollo Lunar Module, to its more recent involvement in commercial resupply missions to the ISS. The company's Cygnus spacecraft has played a crucial role in delivering supplies and equipment to the space station. United Launch Alliance, ULA a joint venture between Lockheed Martin Space and Boeing Defense, Space and Security, has been instrumental in launching a range of payloads into orbit. With its Delta IV Heavy and Atlas V launch vehicles, ULA has contributed to various missions, including weather satellites, scientific probes, and national security payloads. Ariane Space, a French company established in 1980, has been a pioneer in commercial launch services. Operating a suite of launch vehicles, including the heavy lift Ariane 5 and the solid fueled Vega, Ariane Space has successfully launched hundreds of satellites over the years, contributing to global telecommunications, Earth observation, and scientific research. Rocket Lab, a publicly traded aerospace manufacturer and launch service provider, has made strides with its electron rockets, enabling dedicated launches for small satellites. The company's innovative approach includes attempts to recover electron boosters and the development of the larger neutron rocket. As nations and private enterprises continue to advance space exploration, a tapestry of collaboration, innovation, and competition is woven across the cosmos. These endeavors not only push the boundaries of human knowledge and technology but also underscore the indomitable human spirit to explore new frontiers, inspire generations, and propel us toward a future beyond Earth. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through the history of spaceflight. From the daring leaps of imagination by visionaries like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, to the groundbreaking achievements of Yuri Gagarin, Neil Armstrong, and Valentina Tereshkova, humanity's exploration of space has been an awe-inspiring saga of innovation, determination, and perseverance. As we've explored the milestones of space exploration, it's clear that no single nation or entity can claim ownership over the stars. Instead, a diverse tapestry of nations, agencies, and private companies has come together to propel us beyond our home planet. From the early days of the space race to the collaborative efforts on the International Space Station, our shared pursuit of knowledge and discovery continues to unite us as a species. The challenges and triumphs we've witnessed in the history of spaceflight remind us of the boundless potential of human ingenuity. As we look toward the future, we're poised on the brink of even greater achievements, from Mars missions to interstellar probes. Our journey into space has not only expanded our understanding of the cosmos but also deepened our appreciation for the delicate balance of our own planet. So, whether you're a space enthusiast, a budding scientist, or simply someone who marvels at the stars, remember that the story of spaceflight is an ongoing saga, one that invites us all to dream, to explore, and to reach for the stars. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.